Hello friends, Andrew here and welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Sheets shortcut to your desktop. Now, I'm currently using a Windows 11 PC, so I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows. On a Mac, it's relatively the same. You can do, take similar steps if you're using the same browsers, but it's pretty much straightforward. So, there are two ways to basically do this. One, I'm going to show you how you can install the entire Google Sheets to your computer so that you can access the application directly. Or if you want to do it for a specific sheet itself, then I'm going to show you that option as well. So let me just quickly back out and just go to google.com. Now to access Google Sheets, you want to go to Google, or if you're using Chrome, you open Chrome, you might have the home page set to Google. And if you're signed into your account, you can just click the apps on the upper right hand side and find Sheets. Once you click on Sheets, it's going to take you over to this page here, which is like the home dashboard to Google Sheets. And from here, you want to go ahead and click the tree that's on the upper right hand side, go down to Cast, Save and Share if you're using Google Chrome. Or for other browsers, you want to go down and find similar options and you'll be able to see where it says install pages and app. If you click that install as an app, you will basically have the option to install the sheets here. And you can see right here, it pops out in a new window. Let me go ahead and minimize that. And this is the application. And if you look to the left hand side on my desktop here, you can see that I have it as an icon there. So I'm going to close this out for a moment. Here, you see it on my desktop, I can double click on it and I can open it up, right? Another thing is that if you click the Windows key on your keyboard or your taskbar and you type in Sheets, you will see that it shows up on your computer as an application. Here it says Sheets, right? And it's an application. So you can open it up as an application from here and you can see that this is open up. And you can even pin it to your taskbar as well. So if you right click on it, taskbar you have it pinned to taskbar so if you close out of it you're able to open it up again directly from your taskbar and you have the entire google sheets there right at any point in time you want to uninstall it you can click the tree that's on the upper right hand side here and here you have uninstall sheets alternatively you can easily uninstall it from your add and remove programs because it is an app there right so you can right click go to install apps and you'll be able to uninstall it from your apps as well. So I'm going to go ahead and search for it as well. So here at the top you have Sheets and I can simply type in Sheets or Sheets and you can see it there. And all I have to do, click the three dots here and click in Uninstall and Uninstall again. And it's going to uninstall here. It says Remove Data, blah, blah, blah from Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And as you can see that it's now removed from my desktop, it's removed from my taskbar and it's removed entirely. Now, another way how to basically do this, guys, if you open up your sheets, right? Let me go back into sheets again. If you want to do that for a specific sheet itself, go ahead and find that sheet and open it. And I'm going to simply call this one, rename this sheet here. It says um, on an unidentified sheet, but I'm going to call this one test as an example. Rename it as test. And in order to, let's say, create a shortcut for, for this specific sheet, you want to go ahead and click the three dots again to the upper right hand side. Go down to cast, save and share. But this time you want to choose the option that says create shortcut. So you click on that. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be Google Sheets. You can just remove that as an example or just call it whatever you want. It's really up to you. Once you do that, click and create. And guess what, guys? It will open up. It will show you that it is no on your desktop. And I can close this explorer here. I can close this here as well. And here is the specific sheet on my desktop. So when I open this one for my desktop, what's going to happen here, guys, is open on my second window. Let me drag it so you can see it here. But once I open that, you can see that it opens up to that specific sheet. And that's it. That's all there is to it. This is how you can install the entire Google sheets on your computer or if you want to do it for a specific sheet you can do that and once you're done just simple go if you don't want it on your desktop anymore you can always delete it from your desktop by clicking it and click delete and that's it but that's how you do it guys very easy and very simple